A customer at a Rowlett restaurant recently left a very big tip for a server. Yeah, they tipped $2,000 and they did it again. Weeks later, Fox 4's Amelia Jones joins us now with more. Amelia. Hey, Heather. People are starting to call her the angel tipper. We don't know why she chose to tip thousands of dollars, but the three servers who received the tips are very grateful for her generosity. The fryers are hot and orders are up. It's a normal day at Dalrock Diner in Rollette, but for one server, this is a day she'll never forget. This lady came in and tipped $2,000, so what? Yes, a $2,000 tip was left on a receipt for an omelet breakfast meal on August 23rd. The restaurant owner, George Torres, couldn't believe it. Before. Never, never. I never heard, I, I, we have people give 200, 300, yes, but 2,000, never. The server wants to remain anonymous, but she wasn't the only one in for a surprise that day. For lunch, the same woman stopped by Sanaida's Mexican kitchen across the street from the diner. She sat here for a while. I kept checking on her probably like five times. I'm just overly friendly. <laughs> so she kept saying she was fine and doing great. Giselle Martinez says the woman ordered the full plate of chicken nachos, but paid the bill and left before Martinez could say goodbye. When she bust the table, that's when she saw the tip on the receipt. It was $2,000. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? Martinez says the money helped her buy a flight to see her dad for the first time in two years. Little angel, little blessing. It was, I couldn't believe it, honestly. Martinez wasn't able to say thank you that day. But if the mysterious angel tipper is watching. I would like to thank her in person, like give her a hug. Two days later, on August 25th, another server at Dalrock Diner was about to experience the same shock. The woman came back and ordered the same meal. She ordered a house omelet with hash browns, toast, and a water. And tipped another $2,000. They couldn't believe it. It was really exciting. The Torres family doesn't know the woman's name, but she forever has a seat saved for her at the diner. They really opened their eyes. There is a lot of people, a lot of good people out there still. And it just really means a lot to us and to the servers. Both restaurants are family owned and opened seven years ago here in Rowlett. The two restaurants do not have pool tips. That means the entire $2,000 will go to each of the servers. Another restaurant in Roy City says they received a $2,000 tip and they believe it could be from the same woman.